Hi you guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for your love and support. This is going to be a very quick uh, mini reading. Um, sorry, I just make sure I put, keep my timer on so I stay on track. <laughs> uh, please start. Okay, <laughs> a quick mini reading um, to get some energies around this 8-8 portal. Uh, for Twin Flames, for those of you that identify with Twin Flame Connection. So everything that you need to know will be listed below the video description um, where it says show more and anything else you need to know will be there um, as well, okay? So if you hear me say he or she when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies and not a specific gender. Masculine or feminine can be male or female. Just take it how it resonates or applies. Um, in your situation if it applies because it's not going to uh, resonate with everyone uh, in the collective, okay? So let's go ahead and the main thing that I'm going to get right now is what is the energy you're focused on right now? And then we're going to see uh, what are you uh, leaving behind and what is coming in for you, okay? So this is the um, Queen of the Moon Oracle. So we have here creation, 39. That number could be significant, it's also 12. So you're focusing right now on creating something. This could be anything in life. This could be projects. Like you see, there's paperwork. Maybe you have some plans you wanna do. Uh, maybe it's vacation, maybe it's to build something. But you're focusing on creating something, okay? And then we also have change. You're also focused on some type of change. Some of you guys may have been resistant to this change. The change is here. Um, and so you are in this energy of changing things uh, that maybe you had not been ready to change, but it, it's here. So you are focused on some big changes that's taking place in your life. 35, that is also a number eight. So that could be significant. It can definitely be with this portal or something that um, you, know, you had to deal with, a, a karmic cycle somebody went back and forth with or came back around. And then we have trust. And then we have number 32, which is also five. Fives represents change. Um, so what I'm getting here is there's some issues of trust that you may be having with or uh, other people. Could, and this could be other people could be having issues with you in regards of trust. But these are energies you are focused on. And I feel like it's you're focused on creating a more positive energy of change, um, you know, creating things of things that you feel that you can um, trust better, okay? And this could be with connections. This could be about, you know, making plans where you feel safe. Uh, but these are the energies that you're focused on, okay? So this is my Mystery House uh, Oracle. Any of my, well, this is the only deck I'm using, but if you USA, you can only get them from my site or my Etsy shop. Uh, if you're international, please send me an email. So these are going to be the things that you are leaving behind with this 8-8 portal uh, during this time okay so we have here best award acknowledge recognition things that you need to acknowledge or recognize that maybe you haven't been recognizing before with this change with this resistance maybe something came in very suddenly and kind of just you know really caught you off guard and you are acknowledging um, this okay so you're leaving this behind some of you guys could also be leaving behind your need to have acknowledgement from somebody or recognition uh, from someone uh, in the in the past, okay? And then what else you're leaving behind is this parked cars, is staying put, no movement. Like you, if this is someone you're dealing with or your own, you're not, you're leaving this behind. You're not just gonna stay uh, put. You're not gonna just stay in this energy of not doing anything. You, cause you're focusing on creating something. You're focusing on change. You wanna be in a more energy of trust or building trust in some type of uh, energy. Um, I'm also getting like with this nest, you know, leaving the nest energy. Somebody could be leaving the um, the nest. Um, that energy has been coming up for me a lot with the uh, empty nest energy. So it could be some energy around that too for some of you guys that have children. But you're leaving behind this, you know, energy of not do anything. If there's somebody that's energy that's just not doing anything, you're leaving all that behind. And then we have this incubus energy. You leave an incubus uh, behind. This is uh, somebody, a sexual demon or somebody that feeds off of you only because of their sexual needs. Someone that comes to you in the night. So this could be like player, a player type of energy and not just a demon, but someone that um, it could be a dark male uh, energy 
um, or a user, someone that is a user, they're not doing anything, they're not acknowledging the connection, and you're recognizing for, for some that that's who they are, they're not doing anything, so you're just leaving that energy um, behind. So now let's go ahead and see what is coming uh, towards you um, with this 8-8 portal. What can you look forward to that will be coming uh, towards you? This is the Moonology cards. Believe in the impossible. So something that you thought that was impossible will be coming towards you, okay? This could be a relationship, um, you know, with the Twin Flame connection or Deep Soul Me connection, or it could be a dream that you never thought was going to happen. Whatever you thought that was impossible with this blue moon, like you just, like, it's just not even possible. This is letting you know to believe in the impossible because the impossible is, you know, uh, here for you, is here to come in. And then we also have here, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be a Sagittarius or this could be somebody that you are drawn to that is Sagittarius or has Sagittarius in their chart. So what's coming in for you is you're going to look at the bigger picture of the whole situation of maybe leaving, you know, things behind, um, people that use you or not there for you or the sudden change that you've had to be faced with or this gives you opportunity to create things, but you'll be able to see things, uh, from a bigger picture, uh, um, you know, a bigger, per, uh, a new perspective. Okay. This could happen around the next, uh, full moon or it's just, you know, uh, energy of you just being able to see things, uh, in a greater scale. And then what else is coming from you? A new start is coming. Wow. I love that energy. New moon, which is where we're at. Okay. Uh, we're, we're in the new moon right now and I forgot to write it down. So I think it's Leo. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Anyway, I know it's a portal today. <laughs> um, my brain's been all over the place, but we're here with the new moon. Okay. So some of these changes may take place between now and the full moon, but a new start is coming. So this new start could be with your business, your projects, relationships, love, uh, Anything that inspires your creativity or is change, but it's a, a, a positive change is what I'm getting, okay? So let's go ahead and um, let me see. What is your advice message from Spirit before I um, in this reading? What will be the advice message for the person watching? Prosperity lies ahead for you. Now, this could be in money. This can be in relationships. And it says new moon in Taurus. So there's two moons here. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be in your chart or in that factor. But uh, Spirit is letting you know that prosperity lies ahead either with this particular person or just in general. Okay? Um, and I feel like the vice is saying to take action towards this uh, prosperous time. Okay? Because it lies ahead for you. So, you know, take action towards it. Acknowledge it. And then also, what do you need to release? Um, so, maybe there's something you need to release here around your views about prosperity. Um, how you see things in the material world. Um, just the whole thing and maybe also to, uh, trust. Okay. Maybe you need to, uh, release trust around a situation that all these things are going to take place for you. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to look at the bottom of these cards really quick. I feel like there's burdens. Um, well, I didn't, this was, I didn't even shuffle this card, but, um, some of you guys, I feel like it's burden since it says, what do you need to release? And I didn't even shuffle it, but let's get I'm going to just get one more card for advice message for spirit. This is the, um, I just saw the Taurus card. So there's going to be a specific energy with Taurus. So let's get one more card for advice or message from spirit. This is the Tarot of Dreams. Five of Wands. So this is conflict, competition, internal conflict. So I feel like it is to release any burdens. Anything's not serving you. This could be people, situations. People that, you know, haven't changed, will not change, um, has the tendency to use you or anything like this. Friends, family, relationships, leave that all behind, okay? Yeah, see, because Ace of Cups here, there's a new beginning here waiting for you. That's what I have for you guys, so I hope that resonated. Please like, 
subscribe, comment, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to put this in a couple of different places. So I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Uh, bye for now. Peace, love, and light.